Shepard. Enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn city. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. You can do whatever you'd like for the little chamber, Michael.
Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs then to customs and immigration to regain access to the citadel itself and probably a stop by the treasury spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge but i can see you're a busy woman so how about i just press this button right here and we call it done couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that there's no way to fool the dna scanners in that tunnel you're you why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. The best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Yes? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course, they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. 
Taser Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga concert hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems, but Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard, as long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. 
What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight year. Knowing the truth about so but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers, 